Good morning, Valley. In this program, we will be giving you the latest announcements, sports news, and upcoming events. But first, please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty for all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. It will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Welcome to the Weekly Warrior. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Ian. Let's start off by taking a look at our announcements for the week. We got a new drink machine, so go check it out in the den. Speaking of drinks, come to the gym and take a peek at the Great Grind, open on Thursday mornings from 7.30 to 8.05 to support the mission team. Bring cash. Join us November 4th for dinner, worship, and state of the school address, starting at 5 p.m. to raise money for our missions team. If you have applications or you're interested in the missions trip that is going to Ireland and Mexico, please see Mrs. Moline or Mrs. Gutierrez for more information. Grandparents' Day is October 25th. If anybody is looking for service hours, please see Mrs. G ASAP. Due to Grandparents' Day, there will be no school this Friday, October 25th. On October 30th is Valley Christian School's 50th birthday party, dress up 50s themed. There will be money prizes for winners. So ladies, pull out your poodle skirts, and gentlemen, slick back your hair. The office is asking you to bring Kleenex ASAP unless you want to blow your nose on your shirt. Winter sports are coming up, so sign up for your winter sports if you haven't already. As a recap of Spirit Week, we will be looking back at our favorite outfits for the week. Let's take it over to Auburn, Elena, and Brady with that story. Hey guys, I'm here with Catherine, our girl winner for our theme, Dress Down and Impress. Catherine, how do you feel that you won? Well, I feel very honored that I was chosen to be the winner. What inspired you to pick the items that you chose to wear for this theme? Well, I looked into my closet and found all these belts, and it's like, you know what? I never wear any of these belts. Might as well put them on now. This is Dress Down and Impress, and today we're here with Josh. What's up? And today he, he was a winner. So talk us to your outfit. So my shoes are from freshman year of basketball. My uh, socks, I, I wear them every day. And then my pajamas, I got from Christmas. Oh, um, my shirt has Michael Jordan on the back. My my other shirt says legendary because I'm legendary. <laughs> and then my helmet is when I go snowboarding. And then my goggles, they're, they're so I can go really fast when I'm going fast mode. Josh dressed out in red. Hello, I am Brady. I am here with Bella, the female winner of Heroes vs. Villains Day. All right, Bella, what was your inspiration by, behind choosing the Joker? I looked at my closet, and this was what I found, because I had this, so I made this out of pants. Okay, and then where did you find the other parts of the outfit? I got these at Goodwill, and I got this at Goodwill. All right, sweet. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Aubrey, and today I'm here with the guy winners for our theme, Superheroes vs. Villains. I'm here with Matthias as Michelangelo, Cade as Leonardo, and Brady as Donatello. So, what inspired you guys to pick the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? So, we yesterday we were all gonna go to Spirit Halloween and get costumes. Matthias wanted to be Frozone, but it was like seventy dollars, and we saw these and they were like fifteen bucks total for all of it. So, we went and bought the shells, the masks. And then shirts from Hobby Lobby. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Yep. Hey, guys. My name is Auburn, and today I'm here with Danny, the winner of Barbecue Dad versus Soccer Mom. And Danny's our winner for Soccer Mom. So, Danny, what made you choose Soccer Mom over Barbecue Dad? I don't know. It just seemed more fun than Barbecue Dad. Can you give us a quick fit check of your Soccer Mom outfit? All right. I'm more of like a basketball mom, basketball hoodie, Valley Christian hat for my mom, and my mother's extensions back here. Sweet, yeah. thanks. I'm here with Becca, our winner of Barbecue Dad versus Soccer Mom. So, Becca, what inspired you to choose the Barbecue Dad over the Soccer Mom? My father. Uh, he is definitely a Barbecue Dad himself. Sweet. Can you give us a quick rundown of your fit? Of course, of course. So, this tong thing here was in my, like, <laughs> um, it was in, okay, I can't think of the name. <laughs> grill grill uh this is my father's shirt and shorts 
Uh, this is my own hat, and I did get a ball cap from Spirit Halloween because my father is bald. Sweet. Thanks, Becca. Of course. Hey, guys. Today I'm here with Lexi, our winner of our theme throwback Thursday. So, Lexi, how do you feel that you won today? I feel great. Amazing. Perfect. Now, can you give us a quick rundown of the era that you chose and then just a quick rundown of your fit? So I chose like the 60s, 70s, like hippie era, and I did it because my Aunt Kathy was a hippie, and I thought, hey, that'll be fun. And I got the fun sunglasses from uh, Spirit Halloween, along with the hippie jacket and the headband, and then these are just my jeans and my Dolly Parton shirt. Sweet. Thanks, Lexi. I love your outfit today. Thanks. Hey, guys. Today I'm here with Titus, our guy winner of our theme, Throwback Thursday. So, Titus, how do you feel that you won today? Uh, it feels great. I just went in my basement, grabbed some stuff, and I won. Okay, can you give us a quick rundown of who you are inspired by, and then just kind of your fit check in general? Originally thought I was going to wear this Afro wig I have in my basement. Like, I don't know what era that is, like maybe 60s, 70s, or 70s or 80s or something. And then um, this is my dad's basketball warm-up. My dad told me to wear it, so I looked for it for like probably like 30 minutes and found it and wore it to school, so... Sweet, perfect. Thanks, Titus. Hey, guys, I'm here with Derek, our guy winner for our theme, Warrior Wear. So, Derek, how do you feel that you won? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, I think I'm very well deserving. So what made you want to wear the school mascot? Uh, I saw it in my mom's office. Shout out, Debbie. Uh, and then I asked Mrs. Burr if I could wear it. Shout out, Mrs. Burr. And so I wore it. Sweet. Thanks, Derek. Hey guys, I'm here with Mrs. Jonas, our girl winner for our theme warrior wear. So Mrs. Jonas, how do you feel that you won? Well, I'm kind of surprised that I won. I mean, I went, I tried to go all out, but that's kind of exciting. Can you give us quickly a rundown of your outfit and just the items that you're all wearing? All right. So I have ribbons in my hair, blue and silver, and I've got glitter in my hair, but you probably can't see it on the camera. Got the face paint going on. I've got a football um, sweatshirt. I've got a football shirt underneath. My puffy vest, I even have navy and white rings on. Um, I don't know. I mean, blue jeans, but that's kinda, that just kind of goes blue. It got lucky that way. Sweet. Thanks, this is Jonas. Thanks, guys. Now let's go to Cyrus and Derek with Senior Sports Spotlight. Welcome to our fall sports recap. I'm Cyrus. And I'm Derek. This past Friday, your Warriors took on Princeton Green Lake for our homecoming game. With 20 seconds left, Matthias Bailing had a one-yard rush to take the lead 22-16. And your leading rusher was Derek Wallace with 106 yards. Our leading tackler from that game was Mason Everts with 21 total tackles. Also, tonight we have a varsity volleyball playoff game against Tuesday's winner of Roncalli versus Elkhart Lake Glen Beulah. You can see wissports.net for more details. Because this is a varsity playoff game, the WIAA requires that everybody pay to get in. It is $6 admission and saving seats is prohibited. Should our Lady Warriors win, they would advance to play on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Location and opponent TBD. Cut. Thank you for putting your all into your sports throughout the years. Now let's send it to Jordan, Nathaniel, and Quinn with Minute to Win It. Hi, I'm Quinn, and I'm here with... Mr. Patrick. And... Mr. Thiel. And we're doing the Oreo uh, Minute to Win It Challenge. So here's... It's just like you gotta get the Oreo from your forehead to your mouth, but here's a catch. You can only use your face. All right, so we're gonna start up. How do you feel after that glorious victory? Full. Full. 
Yeah. Congratulations. Good. Good enough. Thank you. That concludes this week's Weekly Warrior.